So I have a PNG file or something or you know anything that has an extension at the end, so .png, .jpg or something, and I want to remove the .png. Let's say, for example, I want to make this into like um, I don't know, new file .png. Let's say I'm uh, upscaling the file, and you know, if I do uh, file .png, let's say that it's a variable, right? And then .png, or you know, a new upscaled.png it's gonna result in two dot pngs which I probably don't want so how do we actually extract the name without the extension well the simplest way to do that is probably use just uc so just like uh, base name there's an program called base name or not base name actually their name which if we do echo home um, if we do dear name it's gonna get the directory of what we are passing so like uh, the directory of home James is home it's, it's just gonna terminate the last uh, slash right and that's basically what we want to do here so uh, we can include stdio uh, string dot h and just do a searcher strrchr the other one <laughs> so uh, with this we are going to get the last occurrence of a dot right and we should you know we should probably check if we have past uh, an argument right because if not you know, it's not gonna work and also we can we can check if the dot even exists right if it does if it does exist then we will do we will terminate it right because we are currently pointing to the dot and because C strings are null terminated if we just terminate the dot or replace the dot with a null terminator uh, something like puts uh, will just not print uh, after the null or print the null right so it will just print the first part of the string and then we will we'll just rv1 uh, print the original string right but now if we have found the dot, uh, it's gonna print uh, the terminated string, right? So compile this. See um, the PNG something, right? It's gonna work. Another approach is you can use set. So we're going to start from the last character, right? So use a dollar sign to, you know, start from the last character. And then use dot. Don't forget to escape the dot because it's a regex symbol. And um, you can do dot star, which will work fine, but that will not work here, right? If you have multiple extensions or not extensions, dots. So to fix that you can instead use brackets and what the brackets will do is it will select any character that is in the bracket and you can use uh, and this is a uh, not here so if we do this it will select everything or you know zero or more characters that is not a dot so we start from the last character uh, G is not a dot, not a dot, not a dot. It's a dot, and then it terminates, and then it replaces uh, that with nothing. So we're gonna get file, and it should work if we do this, right? If we have multiple things. So yeah, there's another one. 
I, I, I'm not sure what this does, okay? It's some sort of pattern. I don't know. But <laughs> don't ask me about that. Oh, and I guess another... A very dumb way, I guess. Uh, is... You can reverse it. And then cut. Uh, since it's reverse, we can cut the first dot. Uh, well, actually we need that. And then that works, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's probably the most inefficient way of doing it, but, you know. 